Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. It's going to be a quick and easy one. I'm just going to show you how to make your character's palette. You need Fighter Factory Classic for this. Um, I'll leave the link to the program in the video description. But if you have it already, then you need to open it up and click this button, which is the Palettes Edit button. That will bring up a new window. Um, there will be two grids. The first grid is the actual your actual palette that you're going to be making the grid on the right is the colors that will show from your character's image so we need to open up our character now I'm searching for bitmap files I'm gonna go up and go ahead and open up my character uh, there he is and what I need to do to show his colors is click this button which is optimize brings up all the co uh, colors from the character's image and what you need to do is to not show this background color in Mugen you need to transfer it to this side but the bottom the last bottom right hand square which is known as color zero so that won't show in Mugen then so if you click on the background color or you can click it if you can see it in the palette click where it's supposed to go which is the bottom last square on the right of the palette grid then hit this button which is transfer colors that brings that over and all we need to do now to make our palette is bring the rest of the colors over apart from the background which we've already done so if you click the first color um, hold shift and click the color before the background color so it highlights a row because you don't you don't want to click say this last color because it will highlight the background color so if we transfer those over one at a time hit the transfer selection button it, it reserves a grid for all the colors to be put over the other side and then hit transfer colors button again and it brings them over to the palette side um, you want to do the same again for the rest of the colors but now you've highlighted them rather than hit transfer selection which will leave out the background color and create a gap you don't want to do that that's wrong so what you want to do is click that on the palette side hold shift and click anywhere as long as you've highlighted enough color, uh, enough spaces, hit transfer colors over, and then you've basically brought all your colors to the left side. Hit save. Save it in your character folder as the name of your palette, whatever you want to call it. Um, then what you want to do is apply the palette to your character's images. So what you do is you hit add, highlight every single character image you have, hit open and then click apply the palette on the images you might want to save this to a folder because it's going to convert all of your bitmap, bitmap images to PCX files so you save that and that's basically everything done and your character has a palette thanks for watching